Will vs. Wade. Decision overturned. People freaking out. Riots in the streets. Politicians saying stupid things. Celebrities saying stupid things. This video, I'm going to give you my two cents on it. But first, here's my disclosure. And now for my disclosure. Legal thing. Hello everyone, this is my video and channel disclosure. All my videos, including this one, is my opinion. The video does not contain any facts, nor fiction. It's not racist, hate, even... It's not even educational. Nor whatever. The intent of my videos is for entertainment, laughs, fun, humor, and to make you think outside the box. Therefore, YouTube cannot base on your guideline, flags, or remove this video, or any of my videos. Um, in fact, check this out. Native American Indian, Navajo, once told me when I asked him about being offended, he said, one chooses to be offended. Again, all my videos are for fun. Enjoy your life. Don't be so serious that you lose your sense of humor. It's okay to laugh, folks. I hope you are entertained by my videos, and if not, oh well. <laughs> Have a great day, and it's time for an entertaining video. Thanks for tuning in. Jeff, Arizona Hot Topics, and today's Hot Topic, again, this is just my opinion on things. Roe vs. Wade. So my opinion on the Roe vs. Wade thing, the whole abortion thing, is this. That's it. I have no opinion. No, seriously though. Roe vs. Wade, let's just take emotions out of it. Because way back in 73 when it was done, it was a very emotional time. Both sides. It's been emotional and argumentative all throughout the last 50 years. And now, it's the same thing. Very emotional. But here's the way I look at it. I'm going to take emotions out of it, and I'm going to just look at a couple of things. One, in our Constitution, there's the Bill of Rights. Nowhere is it listed as an individual right to birth or abortion. There's individual right to free speech. There's right to bear arms. There's, you know, etc. But nowhere does it actually talk about I could give me a big hug. Thank you for the hug, Cancho. That was cool. Birth or abortion. Therefore, the founding fathers were smart in that they created the Tenth Amendment. The Tenth Amendment is the catch-all. It's a miscellaneous. It's whatever doesn't fit in these others fits here. That's where abortion fits. The Tenth Amendment. Look up the Tenth Amendment. Tenth Amendment talks about states' rights. Power to the people. I think it literally says power to the people. And I think it actually says states' rights. So it makes sense that Something like abortion, because it's not individually listed as a right, falls underneath the Tenth Amendment. Therefore, the ruling back in 73 was actually unconstitutional in my eyes. So what should have happened was they should have said, tenth, like they did just recently, Tenth Amendment applies, states you get to do what you want. Whatever the people want, you individual states get to do what you want. And yet, everyone started freaking out, like, oh, we can't have abortion. No, that's not what this court said. court said every state gets to be its own ruler. That's the way it should be. The federal government should not be overseeing a whole bunch of stuff. The federal government needs to be hands-off. They need to let the states do what they want. That's why we are United States, in my eyes. We are United States because... Every state should be different. You li I live in Arizona. California, people who are from Arizona hate to go to California because taxes are higher. Um, property taxes are higher. Sales taxes are higher. Income taxes are higher. Um, there's more rules. There's more regulations. 
There's, oh my gosh, it's just, they're, they are just controlling everybody. That's not what America should be about. But in America, we have that freedom to allow people to be stupid and act stupid ways. So if somebody wants abortion, then they go live in a state that gives abortions. If they are pro-life, then they live in a state that's a pro-life state. It's that simple. You get to live wherever you want to live. And, but most important, I think what it is, is it, it should be by state. So the ruling being overturned to me was the right ruling, in my opinion, because they're honoring the Tenth Amendment and therefore every state. So all you Democrats and all you liberals and all you abortion people, stop freaking out. You still have abortion. Just make it in your state. Now, in America, though, also the way I see things, you should not force your will on somebody else. Don't force your opinion on somebody else or your beliefs. So those who believe in abortion should not force others into abortion. Those who are pro-life should not force people who believe in abortion to believe pro-life. So you should allow people to be themselves and let them do what they want. Now as far as the federal government goes and the way that they respond to all this, they need to be as neutral as possible. And for the president to come out saying that decision was wrong or whatever, that's not right. Now if he comes out and says, I disagree with it, but you know what? They're right. Tenth Amendment applies here. That would be a proper comment in my eyes. But basically, basically, I don't want the federal government to come out and and, and create all these programs that support abortion, but they don't support pro-life. If they're going to fund $8 here, they need to fund $8 over here. It needs to be a balance between the two. And majority of it needs to be education. The one thing that bothers me about the whole life thing, period, is why don't we talk more about adoptions? And why don't more people be involved in adoptions? In education, adoptions, alternative solutions should be the answer, not one way or the other. There needs to be that middle ground. And that's where the government needs to be. So, But that's just my two cents on the whole uh, Roe vs. Wade. You folks that are freaking out in the streets, relax. It still favors you, you idiot. All you got to do is live in a state that has abortions. Duh. <laughs> do you not understand that? <laughs> So, <laughs> have a great day. My name is Jeff Ferris on Hot Topics. Thanks for watching. Another disclosure. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, this video was for entertainment only. Keep in mind, you choose to be offended, so nothing I say should offend you. My videos do not contain facts, fiction, racism, hate, education, whatever. Because it's my opinion, and it's all about entertainment. I hope you laughed and enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe for more silly, humorous, entertaining videos. Okay, maybe they're not so humorous, they're just boring. <laughs> but the bottom line is, lighten up, folks. Have fun. See you, bye. Have fun. Woo!